So we've been looking at what Jesus has to teach us about prayer. And over the last four weeks, we've essentially uh, highlighted how prayer is deeply personal. Uh, Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, go into your own room and shut the door. Keep that internal and external noise at bay and pray to your Father in secret. And don't use a lot of words. Uh, prayer is not just communicating to God, it's communing with, it's being present, being available to God in a personal way. But today I want to pivot because Jesus also teaches that prayer is powerful, more powerful than perhaps we could ever imagine or understand. He says later in the Gospel of Matthew, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. For nothing will be impossible for you. God, that's an amazing image. That is a, a bold statement. And we're being invited to trust that there's so much more available to us through the, the power of prayer than we could imagine. Desmond Tutu used to say that, that prayer is not so much asking God to do things, it's taking the opportunity to be with God and to plug into the power source of the universe. The power source of the universe. Think of how small a plug is. It's like that image of the mustard seed. It's so small, right? But if we plug into something, a power source greater than that, uh, we can begin to power up and uh, incredible things can start to happen in our lives. But we have to be conscious. We have to be intentional. We have to resist the temptation and the tendency to, to try to do things by ourselves. Because there is a greater love. There is a greater wisdom. There is a greater strength. A greater power available to us. And we believe that God has created everything that we can see. And God is sustaining this universe, even as I speak. That God is a great resuscitator. And if somehow God were to withdraw from breathing life into creation, we would cease to exist. Creation would cease to exist. And we have that accessible to us. And when we carve out time to pray, the impossible things in our lives become possible with God's help. Will you please join me in prayer? Lord, as we face the impossible today, help us to resist the temptation to try to do the impossible by ourselves. Help us to plug in to your love your wisdom, your strength, and your power. And help us to believe and trust with all our heart that with you, all things, all things are possible. Amen.